<sighs> so how's everybody doing today? Good? Glad to hear it. I bet you have a lot of questions right now. <laughs> I recorded several hours of Resident Evil 2 on Saturday and only kept about the first three because my webcam corrupted, yay! So I lost my reactions for like the next hour, hour and a half-ish of gameplay. And I've been enjoying this game so much and I was so upset that I lost reactions and I decided that I wasn't gonna let you guys miss out on anything. So I replayed through the entire game I was just like, you know what? I've been really enjoying this game. I wouldn't mind playing through the whole thing again. So I did. And I got to here, where we left off after 14 episodes, in about four and a half hours. Also, to make up for my lack in pure reactions, and I'm still kind of upset about it, I'm wearing my onesie. I'm wearing a chicken onesie. Because I have a chicken who actually looks a lot like this. She's just a pure white chicken. And also, when it comes to horror games, I'm a chicken shit. So, we're gonna be doing the next couple of episodes in my chicken onesie in the evening, probably once until it gets dark or until I get tired. One of the two. <laughs> because this thing is very warm and very soft and very comfortable. So, yeah. I've got a list of things here because I made sure to not do anything that I lost the footage for. We're pretty much right where we left off except for one thing. Uh, I forgot to grab the large gunpowder back in the clock tower, so we're gonna have to go back and do that. And on our way to do that, we'll do several things. Let's see. I do have the key on me. I, uh, oh, I have a couple more crank doors to open. I wasn't sure how many I had opened, so I only opened the ones that I knew I had opened. Uh, what am I doing? I'm looking for the... This! I know where this goes now. So, we've got some stuff to do. And I'm gonna go show you all the stuff that we've missed and we'll get through it a lot faster the next time. And once we catch up to where we left off, I will let you know because I don't want to give anything away until we get there. Uh, let's see, what should we do first? I don't remember where anything is, it's been several days, so shit on me. But, I think we're gonna unlock the door to the water injection chamber. Which is... Up there. Like, I pretty much completed the whole sewers area in the footage that I lost, which sucks. But it's okay, because we can go do it right now a lot faster than the last time we did. So, don't worry. But be worried, because this is a horror game. A really good horror game. I think this might be one of my favorite horror games I've ever done on the channel. The, like, openness of it all. You know, it's like one big giant puzzle area. You don't really know where you're going all the time. It's not super linear, so you don't really know what's gonna happen, and the fact that the zombies come back, you don't know which ones are permanently dead. You just have to, like, keep track of everything all the time, and it's... I'm a fucking idiot. I need a chess piece to lower that. Ah, okay, be right back. So I've pretty much figured all this out based on the thing. The Rook and Knight are on the same wall, and we know the Knight goes there because it's the picture. So, the bishop and queen aren't next to each other, the queen and rook were opposite each other. So, if the queen and the bishop aren't next to each other... Well, that's random. Uh, this is bishop. So, if the queen and bishop aren't next to each other, that means the queen can't go here, which means the rook has to go here, if the rook and knight are on the same wall. The rook and the queen are opposite each other, so the queen has to go here, meaning the only spot left for the king is right here. So this is the pawn right here. I suppose I can just take that one, no biggie. And then, so yeah, I pretty much figured out this whole puzzle. We only just need to go and get the queen and king uh, pieces. I've done that whole thing, and I've gotten the two pieces and put them in. Again, I'm missing like an hour and a half or so of footage, so we did make quite a bit of progress. I will say that I made it past the sewers section. I made it into the next area after the sewers in the footage that I lost, which really sucks, but I didn't make it too far into the next area, so it's fine. What's done is done. It happens. So, yeah, I'm, I've decided that I'm gonna replay through the entire game so we don't really miss anything, and we still have one full complete playthrough of the game. 
Yeah, so this door is locked, but I got the key! I forget what's in here. Besides stuff, yay stuff! Large gunpowder! I need to go back and get that from the clock tower because I forgot about it. And that's it, it's clear. Okay, well, that did not lead where I thought it did. Ugh, burp. Let's see. Um, okay, so we opened up the water injection chamber. Now we're gonna head back into the police station so I can grab that large gunpowder from the clock tower. But before we do that, uh, we've got something else that we need to do in between here and that. So we're gonna go do that right now. So we're back in here. I know how to open this. You notice that the lock is shaped like the badge. So it goes right in there. Fuck. I need to put the USB part back in. I did that previously, and then I didn't this time, so crap. But okay, it's just the badge now. Now, we can put that in here. Beautiful. And get this extension. Whoa, which I don't really know what it is. Long barrel, which reduces recoil and imparts extra speed to bullets, increasing damage. I don't think the mag needs extra damage, but I'll take it. Why wouldn't I? Okay, so we got that. Now we need to head back up into the PlayStation because I'm a moron and forgot to grab the large gunpowder in the clock tower. So I'm going to go back and grab that right now. What sucks is, in all of my blind footage of this game, I had not died once. Through parts 1, through 14, through however many other parts there would have been. Probably another 3 or 4 that I lost. Uh, probably more like 3. But, yeah, I had not died once. Through replaying this part, because in order to, you know, salvage stuff and play through it all again, I died twice. I died once to the fucking alligator, and then I died once to... I was playing as Ada. Uh, the... The part when you're down in, like, the stair area trying to get power to that little elevator thing. Um, I, I got trapped and bitten, like, a couple times. And the regular zombies killed me, which was not exactly a point of pride. But, so yeah, the zero death streak is no longer a thing. But I am not counting those deaths because I shouldn't have even had to do this in the first place. So, as far as I'm concerned, we're still on a zero death run. Okay? Because I shouldn't have had to replay through that anyway sucks that I died twice, but yeah, that's a thing that happened. But I suppose, I mean, even if I did die twice, it's still a point of pride that neither of those of my deaths have been to the tyrant. He has yet to kill me. Uh, although he came the closest he's ever been while I was playing through the game, and I saved it as a game clip. So, uh, I wouldn't call you Editing Genation, but my name is Nene now. So, uh, Editing Nene? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you want to call yourself. Uh, put... Put that clip in right here while I'm running back to the sewers. So yeah! Holy mother of hell! Jesus Christ! That was a pretty close call! With the tyrant. But, ooh, you're not getting back up. He has yet to kill me. The Lickers have yet to kill me. And the Gorgons have yet to kill me. The only, like, special zombie that has managed to kill me is the frickin' alligator, which is kind of embarrassing. But, oh my god, didn't I kill you? Oh wait, no, never mind, that was in my previous save, so you're totally still alive, that sucks. Oh, you're dead. Sit down. Where am I going? I have a feeling I went the wrong way. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go back. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Yeah, I need to be in the lower water way. Damn it! I don't remember how to get there! I'm in the wrong place anyway. What the fuck? Oh! Interesting. You know what? I'm gonna leave you. I don't really need to be down there right now, so whatever. I took this back, right? I did. Good! Down here. I don't really know what valve I'm missing with the crank thing, but... Oh, right, and I also used the last bit of the key so I can discard that. Okay, perfect. Okay, yeah, so we actually need to go down here, and I realized that I was a total and complete idiot. Did I open this? 
I did it, and I can't open it from this side. So this must be the one that I'm missing. So this is something that I lost footage for. Down here. Oh, well. You saw the chest burster. I did that. Right. Hey, yeah. What the hell was that? Yeah, it's gross. I'll take herbs. Yay. So I'm an idiot. I was wandering around here being like, I don't see a way out. Oh, this must be a dead end. Okay, I guess I'll go back. You can hop up here oh and keep God. going. This is getting worse. Much worse. Much worse. <laughs> okay. So, uh, maybe I should have saved, or did I? I saved up by the police station, so I guess technically I've saved. This part sucks. Remember how many of them are down here? There's at least two or three, I think. Now the trick with this guy is that I have noticed is they have an eyeball on them. You have to like shoot the covering of the eyeball off, and you do like deal extra damage, so it takes less bullets to kill them. Holy shit! Yep, there it is. See? if you aim for the eyeball. That's a thing I learned. Why are they so weird? So that's the covering of the eyeball. That right there. So you shoot that off, and then you get access to the eyeball. Shoot that until it dies. Like so. I think. Oh god, is it dead? I don't, I don't think it's dead. It's not dead. Okay, it's dead now. I only have three mag bullets. That makes me nervous. Do I have anything to counter with? I got a knife. One knife. Okay. <laughs> That's not good. So that's my way out. This back, back here is my way out. This is still red, so I'm missing something here. I want to say it's back here somewhere? Let's check the walls. Aha! There it is. More. Oh, perfect! I needed that. Oh, shit. That was a bad time for me to hit my inventory button. Please stop moving. Okay. So if you get three shots on the eye with the Magnum, it's usually enough to kill him. Pro tip. Because I'm good at this game now, I'm not. Okay. So in here is blue, so there's nothing here we need. I only played through this once a couple of days ago, so I don't really have it all memorized, but especially this puzzle. So both the king and queen chess pieces are down here, and it's a puzzle in order to get them both out together, which kind of sucks. But... <sighs> and there's the flamethrower. Right! That's where you get the flamethrower! Okay, so that's the queen. You just examine it. So it says queen. There we go. Okay. Switch back to my... Or not. I'll just take out my shotgun for a while. Blue herbs. Just to complete the area. Sure, I'll grab them. Okay. forget exactly how this goes, because I kind of fumbled around here for a while. Can't get in there right now. Holy god, I thought I saw something in the dark. Jesus. Well, if he comes up here, he's gonna get a real bad headache. Oh, right. King's here. 
Okay, so now I can jump. Down. Oh shit! You sneaky son of a bitch! You just go ahead and kill myself. There we go. You asshole! Stay down. You jerkwad. God, he scared me. I thought he was back there where he fell. I didn't think he moved that fast. Ugh. Okay, King goes here. Meaning, I got a flamethrower now! Hold R2. The longer you torch, the bigger the flames you'll create. Now, the puzzle is getting everything, getting the king and the queen pawn out of here together without leaving one of them stuck in a door somewhere, which is kind of a bit more complicated than you'd think. I left the king in here. Take that. Where did I leave the queen? Queen is... There she is. Okay. So then I think we can put the queen here. And then put the king here. Then we go back and take the queen out. And then we go around here. Did I really get stuck down here for a long time trying to figure this out? This seems strangely easy now. But okay, we got both the king and the queen. Now we can go save Ada, who doesn't need our help until she gets in trouble and then realizes she actually needs my help. Yay! She's a strong, independent woman. I understand and respect that. But admitting you might need help before you actually do would be best. Okay, so we made it out. Oh shit, we haven't made it out of nothing yet! Go ahead! Knife you! If he grabs me again, I'm in big fucking trouble. Huh. <sighs> That was so close. If he had grabbed me again, I think I would have been fucked. I've never actually been grabbed by those guys when I didn't have anything to counter with them, but I don't think that would have been very good, and I wish I had that unlocked, but I don't. So I have to go all the way back fucking around. Okay, where does that go? That goes to the middle level, and that connects through the upper waterway. I don't have a whole lot of ammo at all, so I guess we're gonna keep the flamethrower out. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go- OH SHIT! YOU SON OF A BITCH! You guys in your sneaky bullshit corner humping ways! Please die. Please die. Please die. Please die. Thank you. Fuck you all. God damn it. <laughs> Ugh, my life. I'm gonna go put these plugs in. So, you guys are all here where you need to be. The queen goes here. Cuckoo clock going off in the background. Don't mind it. <laughs> and king goes here. I did not put the pawn back. And pawn goes here. Hey! It's almost like I've done this before. God damn okay. it. Almost there, Ada. I got the door open, but I'm not going there yet because we got some more shit to do. She gives you a chance after you save her to go and complete anything else you need to do before moving on to the next area, which is what I did, but I might as well just do it now. Um, I'm going to keep the top one as a backup save because I did, I made a double save. Um, so if the event I lose face cam footage again, I don't have to play through the entire game. We can start off right where we started today. So that's gonna be a thing. Oh damn it. I already killed you people. Sit down. Really, you're up already? Okay, fine. Be a dick game. Can't believe I never opened this. I mean, I did in my original save, goddammit. Is that the last one? Yeah, it is. Okay, bye-bye, Crank. Thanks for the help. All right, you know what? Ugh, that was an execution.
execution. Ugh. Okay, but we opened all the doors. <sighs> There's something in this waterway. I think it's down here. That I may have missed. There it is. More handgun ammo! Brilliant! As you guys see, my original save is gone. I overrid it on accident when I was duplicating. I was making a backup save in case I needed to go back and replay through the entire game again in the event I lose footage for a second time. But I overwrit my original save instead, which uh, if Sarah's watching this knows that that's apparently an issue I have when I say I'm not going to override a save. It just ends up happening anyway because I suck. <laughs> so that's a thing. So my original save is gone, but you know what? It don't matter. Be did I miss green herbs? I did. Don't matter because no, I was. It was highly unlikely I was gonna touch that save anyway.